the rotor broke my lap and this mulching, forestry mulching head. There should be a shaft sticking out here, but it snapped right off. So I'm down to Hector, Minnesota at the Lofness factory to have them repair it. This is where they built the Lofness battle axe head for my excavator, so they said they'd repair it for me, so we'll see how that goes. Coming up to the St. Cloud coal part, which is actually in Avon, Minnesota, I have a 2001 Pontiac Grand Prix to retrieve. Let's see how this goes. Look at all that big crushed granite. Comes my car. is horrible on the front. We got these rattle cans. Ugh. The rest of the paint looks really nice though, that's good. Oh, some rust start to come through here. I couldn't see that in the photos. They have a, an open cell foam, urethane foam under here and that absorbs water and then it causes us to rust out. This car is from North Dakota originally. Doors are really clean. Um, oh shit. I can see the rocker panel is rusted out. I'm not afraid of that. Let's open that be clean. these like your NASCAR inspired rails. Leather interior. 189,000 miles. This had an engine fire. So you need to find a replacement engine for it. So it's got a bra. I'll cover up the nasty paint. I guess. I don't know why that was in the little box. But anyway, looks like they had a pet. Bunch of hair in the rugs. So it's a Grand Prix Special Edition, so that comes with a unique rear spoiler and the aforementioned NASCAR rails on the roof. I don't know if that's supposed to keep the race cars from tipping over or what that's about, but anyway. Um, I don't know, these look like aftermarket wheels. I don't think Pontiac would make them like that. Otherwise, I think they had a unique wheel on these, also with that special edition package. So it's not as good as I'd hoped for, but it's a gamble you take. It needs tires, very little tread depth, very, very little. It's 
silicone on here. What's up with that? They must have glued the lens back on the silicone. Oh, interesting. As I said, this had an engine fire, so you can see the one vent melted. Hopefully I can find one of these. If I can find one in red, that would be even better. Looks fine back here. I don't see the call cover is melted. I'm gonna open the hood and check out the engine, see if there is her damage. If it'll open. floor dry on the flames apparently I put it out and all the floor dry stuck to the melted plastic. Could have been a lot worse. I'll uh, this thing ready for uh, transport. Shock towers aren't rusted. I don't know how they are in the trunk. I could do that. I guess I can't open the trunk. I think the key is tied to the steering column. Or I forgot that these have a separate button for the trunk. Button. I don't know if it worked. Batteries are hooked up, so I suppose it won't work. No juice. I'm up north of Verndale. I just picked up a set of wheels and tires for my 2023 Super Duty. They're, they only have 5,000 miles on them. Um, and got some. Uh, step boards or step rails thrown in on the deal too so I'm pretty happy. But, uh, never been up in this area before. up here. 